What's up guys, Tristan here, and today I have a very short video for you guys. Uh, I got my Samsung Galaxy S10 and it's currently locked. It has two locks. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do both of them. Number one, first you have the passcode unlock and then you have the carrier unlock. The passcode unlock is if you forgot the security code or the pattern is not working. So I'm going to show you how to bypass or how to restore your phone to, so that you have um, access to your phone again. And then I'm going to show you how to do the carrier unlock. That's in case you want to switch providers. So let's say you have your phone with AT&T and you want to use it with another SIM card like T-Mobile or if you want to travel, you just want to pop in a SIM card and uh, it will work. So I'm going to show you how to do the carrier unlock. Uh, we're going to start first with the passcode unlock and then we're going to switch to the carrier unlock. If you're interested only in the carrier unlock, please go ahead and skip to this minute because that's where we start with the carrier unlock. Okay, so we're going to start with the passcode or the security unlock. So the passcode unlock is if you forgot the code or the pin code or your face ID is not working. Uh, so um, I'm just going to show you uh, how to unlock or how to do a factory hard reset on your Samsung Galaxy S10 to be able to use it again. Keep in mind that uh, all the information about this phone will be deleted. So that means pictures, data, contacts, everything will be gone. If you're lucky, you will have a backup on your computer or in the cloud, but uh, otherwise, all the information about this phone will be completely wiped. And the last thing that I have to mention is that if your phone is locked with a Google account, you will not be able to access the phone because it will remain locked with the Google. So just keep that in mind. All right, so with that said, let's begin. So ignore this part. If you don't know the passcode, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna press and hold the power button and we're gonna press restart. As soon as we press restart, we're gonna press and hold the side button the volume up key and the power button. So these three keys at exactly the same time. So just keep pressing and holding them until you get the Android logo. So as you can see here, um, I just got this um, menu right here. We're into the system and now we just need to use the volume up key and the volume down key to navigate. And we're gonna use this, the power button to select. All right, so we're gonna select where it says wipe data factory reset. We're going to hit OK to confirm. You're going to hit yes and we're going to hit OK. All right, that's going to wipe the whole phone. So everything about this phone will be completely wiped. Now we're going to click where it says reboot system now and we're going to hit yes. All right, that's going to completely wipe the phone. It's going to take a few seconds or a few minutes, um, but just be very patient. And once this process is completely done, you will be able to use your phone again. You're gonna get it. Uh, you're gonna see this original settings just as if uh, when you got it completely new. So there you have it guys. Now the phone is fully usable. As you can see here, I can access it and um, there's no problem. The phone is now unlocked and now it can be used with, uh, without any trouble. All right, so first we're gonna start with the carrier unlock. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do it, but I'm gonna try to explain everything as clear as possible. All right, so the first thing you have to keep in mind is that um, your phone will be unlocked. That means your phone will be compatible with any carrier like T-Mobile, um, Metro PCS, or if you travel to any country, your phone will work. You just gotta insert a SIM card and you will be good to go. Now, there are a few things that you need to consider. Number one, your phone must not be stolen. Uh, so if there's a problem with your IMEI number or if your phone has a report has lost or stolen, uh, your phone won't be able to uh, we won't be able to unlock your phone and uh, this unlock is permanent so you can restore update you can switch carriers you can do whatever you want with your phone and it will always remain unlocked and the last thing is uh, this doesn't matter if your phone is currently under contract or if you are, your your contract is fully um, paid uh, doesn't matter you will be able to unlock your phone all you need to unlock your Samsung Galaxy is a computer your phone and a sim card by the way guys, unlocking a phone is not free, so we will have to pay something to unlock this phone, but it's worth every penny to have a fully factory unlocked phone. All right, so with that said, let's begin. So the first thing you have to do is to get your phone's IMEI number. To do that, simply dial star hash zero six hash. All right, as you can see here, you will get your 15 digit IMEI number. This is super important, all right? So just keep in mind that we're gonna use only the first 15 digits. So keep it somewhere close because we're going to need it in a few seconds to unlock this Samsung Galaxy. Okay, so now I'm going to switch cameras. I'm going to use the computer because the rest of the process will take place in the computer. 
Okay, so we're gonna go to the website unlockweaver.com. In this website, we will request the unlock code to unlock this phone. So we're gonna start by selecting the original carrier that your phone is currently locked to. In this case, my phone is currently locked to AT&T in the United States. Okay, then we'll select the brand of the phone. Um, we're gonna try to unlock a Samsung, a Samsung Galaxy. And then we will select the model. In this case, we will be unlocking a Samsung Galaxy S10, all right? Uh, sometimes you will see different services, a premium, a premium service, which is a little bit faster and a, li a little bit more expensive. And uh, you will also see a more economic uh, service. But in this case, we only see one service. Um, so this method will also work for the Samsung Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, and S10e. Okay, so I'm gonna select this one. And then I'm gonna insert the 15 digit IMEI number. Right here, we have to insert it. That's the number we got a few seconds ago. Make sure it is 100% correct, right? Very important. And then you're gonna write down your personal email where you want to receive your unlock code. So they will send you your unlock code to this email. Double check it, make sure it is 100% correct. And um, so, so yeah, just double check it. Uh, it's optional to write down your uh, mobile number if you wanna get uh, mobile notifications. Um, but I'm just gonna skip that for now. So if you scroll down, you will see the price to unlock your phone and the delivery time. Uh, this will always vary depending on your phone's brand, carrier, and model. Uh, in this case, this is the price and this is the waiting time. Keep in mind that it's business days, so be very patient. This may always change. All right, we're gonna hit unlock now. And on the following page, just read all the important information that you can see right here. Um, don't worry, it is everything is safe. Your warranty won't be voided. Uh, in fact, there are only positive things that you can get out of this unlock. So we're gonna scroll down and I'm gonna place my order and I'll be back once I have completely placed my order. So if you place your order successfully, you will get a confirmation pa uh, page just like this. And it basically confirms that the order was placed. Uh, now it will tell you uh, where you will receive your unlock code and um, your order ID. And in this case, I have to wait one to three business days. So that's all you have to do for now is wait. You have to wait until you get your unlock code in your email. So uh, it may take a couple of days, so be very patient. All right, so this is an email example of how you will get your unlock code. So you will get an email from Lock River with your order ID. And uh, it also includes instructions on how to enter the unlock code. And the most important part is the actual unlock code. So this is my unlock code, and this will only work one time for one specific phone. So we're gonna go ahead and insert this unlock code into the phone to unlock it. So I'm gonna switch cameras right now. Okay, so when you have your unlock code ready, uh, we're gonna go ahead and power off the phone. All right, so now we have to insert a SIM card from a different carrier. In this case, I'm gonna use a carrier, um, a T-Mobile SIM card, because my phone is locked to AT&T, and I want to use it with T-Mobile. So I'm gonna insert a new SIM card, and then I'm gonna power it on. And uh, once your phone turns on, it will detect that it's from a non-supported SIM card and uh, we will have to insert the unlock code that we just got in the email. All right, so as you can see here, I just got this message requesting an unlock code in order to unlock the network of the phone. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and insert the code that I got in my email. All right, so after you have filled in the code, uh, we're gonna go ahead and click unlock and we should get a success message. SIM network unlock successful. Perfect guys, that means that the phone was successfully unlocked and now I can use my phone with any carrier. Uh, just to show you, um, if you can see here, I have T-Mobile and it's fully working. Uh, I don't know if you can see it right there, um, but the phone is working. It's an AT&T phone working with a T-Mobile SIM card and now it's fully ready to be used with any other carrier um, in any country. So it is as simple as that, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if it helped you, give it a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section down below. And I'll try to answer uh, each question as soon as possible. Thank you so much. My name is Christian, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.